two elementals in my hands. Shall I unleash you both now? The hell? Not just yet, little buddies. I have Crumb and Fang to deal with first. Fire and sand elementals hate being tin close proximity to one another. I hope I have enough time to get back to the city before they bust out. Crumb and Fang are going to answer for the lives that were lost. Of that, I'm sure. The sun sank beyond the horizon, and darkness fell over Frisco, setting the stage perfectly for what's about to happen. Gunshots. They were shot in cold blood. This is quite a surprise, Mr. Wolf. I was expecting someone else. Tell me, has the fire demon been dealt with? He's gone. But your assassin couldn't make it. It wasn't my assassin. Now, drop your gun and take a seat. Slowly, Mr. Wolf. It was Whitman's death that broke the pact and woke the fire demon, wasn't it? Yes. Crumb and Fang found out that Whitman wanted to destroy the dagger. Acting preventively, they hired an assassin to deal with Whitman. The deed was done, and so the pact was broken. Later on, Saeed decided to destroy the fire demon. Crumb and Fang would have none of it. So, where did I fit in this whole scheme? They all wanted to get rid of you at first, but I maneuvered them into letting you live so you could destroy the fire demon. Once you did that, I would grab the opportunity to deal with the others before they got me assassinated too. Enough of the idle chat. It's time to bring this to an end, Mr. Wolf. Give me the dagger. There is one thing you didn't consider. And what would that be? Well, I kind of lied about vanquishing the fire demon. The moment had arrived. I unleashed the sand elemental and kept my fingers crossed. He burst out in the blink of an eye. A terrifying whirlwind of sand and storm. The fire demon forgot all about me. His gaze instantly fixed on the sand elemental. The same could be said for the other creature. Whatever hatred existed between those two, it was palpable. They stormed at each other with blazing speed. The whole room turned into an inferno of fire and sand. This must be what hell feels like. The last I saw of the elementals was a blinding flash of light. I found myself alone in the room. It was scorched and devastated, without a single trace of the two that had just fought each other out of existence. That symbol. It's the same as the one on my watch. What could this mean? Picture of Allie. Wait a minute. What was her connection to Delacroix?
Marv, I stopped him. All the madmen and their flame demon that spread fire through the city. I know, Adam. I'm not calling about that. It's about that partial fingerprint you sent him for analysis. So, what have we got? You better sit down. The results just came in. It's Allie's fingerprint, Adam. It's a 99.8 match. That means she's alive, Marv. She was at my home. Or someone wanted me to think so. This is a sign, Marv. I get a feeling that with each case, I'll be closer and closer to finding her. What is it, Gabriel? Adam Wolf. He is getting closer. Delacroix was sloppy. I predicted Delacroix's timeline. It's not a surprise. Do not worry about Adam Wolf. He has yet to walk some distance before our paths cross. And when they do, I will take care of him. <laughs> 